Say how to cut your favorite logo or pattern into your hair. All I have is a mirror from the dollar store. And what I've done is cut the sides of my hair with a one. I need duct tape, a permanent marker, an uh, exacto blade or a razor blade. You could use the scissors, but it's harder to peel the tape. And then what I did is I'm going to lay four strips of tape right on top of each other. And then I'm going to put my pattern onto that. Make sure you're putting your tape onto like a board, something that you can cut into with the razor blade. Now I've freehanded this and I did make a mistake. So I just ran a piece of tape over the top of it. And I can come through and anywhere where I think that I need to make corrections, I can. So I can fix anything that needs to be fixed. We're going to cut through and we're only going to cut through a few layers of this because we want to be able to peel it up and then use that as a stencil that goes onto our head. If you have a exacto knife, it works a lot better, but I'm just showing you we can do it without. And we're just going to come around our stencil pattern. You might have to go around it a couple times. Another good tool to use to carve out is just a carpenter's knife. And this carpenter's knife, I think it was like $10, so it's really cheap. It actually works better than pushing on a little razor blade. So this center section here i am actually removing that so i can cut that all the way down and i can peel that off so i'm going to go ahead and do that so now i've removed that and the next piece i'm going to remove is the outside okay so now i've cut all the way around this and so it's different than what i was planning on doing i was just going to do and take off a little bit of tape and so now we have our green bay packer emblem take a couple pieces of duct tape and you're just going to go through where you cut your hair, either wash your hair so it's clean and not so oily, uh, or do this. And those loose hairs are going to make it so the stencil won't stick. And now when you go to stick the stencil on, because you did have it on that board, um, sometimes having it on something different is better, but it, it doesn't want to stick, it's, so it's lost to stick them. But remember, it's several layers thick, so we're just going to peel off uh, one or two layers and leave that bottom layer that's not sticky. So now I'm just peeling this off. And the less you touch it with your fingers, too, the better. So sometimes I put this up against the metal here, um, and that helps to, like, the oils in your skin take away the stickum. So this will help keep the stickum. So now we have that emblem. There's our G. We're going to stick that in our hair. We're going to figure out where we want it on the side of our head, and we're going to place that. Now what I've done is I've put that G, I could have put it up on the side, but I thought it looked better right here. So I just take it and you can see it's sticking. And then we're just going to make sure it sticks. You don't want to like slide it with your hand, but you could use, you know, a hard object and, and just really make sure that it's pushed down on there. But anything will work. Just make sure it sticks into your hair on your head there. And that it's on tight. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to take our mirror and we're going to use a razor. What I've done is I've taken the guard off of this and we're just going to cut around our stencil. And then you can also cut inside it. So now what I've done is I've cut it with a one and then I put that emblem up and now I've cut all the way around it, cut inside it. Okay, got to be careful. You don't want to get if you cut with your clippers this way, going in, you're going to get under that tape and you're going to cut your shape. So you want to make sure you're using your, your clippers down, like upside down, and you're pulling away from the tape, both directions. But you do not want to be cutting up and under. So upside down clippers is important. And you can blend this how you want. I'm just showing you how to put this in we can carve out the whole side if we want however we want to make it you could have a flame coming whatever you want it looks like i've got all of this on the reveal we're just going to take this tape and then we're going to peel it off now we have our green bay packers emblem make your emblem put it on a stencil put that stencil on your head that turned out pretty good this is a one-man job you could do this all by yourself and my son here recording for me but otherwise, I cut it, I stenciled it, I did it all on my own. Something you can do pretty easy and doesn't take a lot of time. Hopefully this helps. And as always, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Please remember this was just to show how to cut the emblem into your hair. I did finish up blending my hair, but that is not included in the video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Arrgh! <laughs>